money, overrated or underrated? Sorry, the, my real answer is in some circles, let's say in many circles, money is very overrated. Money's never the point. It's a means to something else. It's just a neutral trade of value. It's not that uh, important. Um, it's uh, a lot of people are chasing more and more and more money when in fact they really should just spend a little more time looking inward going, wait, why? What do I really want? Uh, and go directly for what you really want instead of trying to get the money that's just supposed to be the neutral trade of value to get you what you really want. Just go directly for what you really want. That said, in some circles, like especially a lot of my old musician friends, money can be underrated because it seems to be the opposite of art. And so they say, man, money doesn't matter. Don't right. worry about money. But by saying that, they're being very unwise because the rest of their life becomes very hard because they've dismissed money, which is supposed to be this neutral trait of value, by not putting any attention into making money. It's like they're not putting any attention into being valuable. And I think that can be a disservice. So, yeah, it depends which community you're in yeah mm -hmm. um i've heard you say a few times um that you don't work for money i Never think have. that might confuse some people right now listening thinking like what do you mean you don't work for work money of course you work for money what do you mean with that, with that actually money's always the side effect money's never the point if you're doing something only for the money yeah um, well, let's just say you should aim to never do something only for the money. There should always be another benefit in it for you. Uh, something you're learning by doing this, making more connections, building your expertise, um, mm -hmm. focusing on that, the, the learning, the building the expertise, the making new connections. That's the real point. And yes, money also comes as a side effect. But if you lose your values or let's say if you're valuing money as the point itself to me that's like saying that the point of having a car is to make the odometer go up and then you get people doing stupid things like uh propping their car up overnight on a thing and, and making a machine spin the wheels so that when they wake up in the morning the odometer is higher and now you've made the numbers gone go up for no benefit for anyone and I think that's what a lot of people unfortunately lose their way and start doing with money is money's supposed to be uh, a side effect of doing what you want uh, or what excites you but if they focus on the money itself then it's like you're just spinning your odometer wheels or spinning the wheels to make the odometer go up it's not the point so um, yeah so I've never worked yeah. for money is there maybe something, I don't know, some insights to anyone listening who might be mainly chasing money? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure, yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, just, or, you know, ease out of it. Ask yourself I could... Yeah, what you want to be doing. Go ahead. Sorry. Um, I could imagine some people who grew up poor, uh, who started earning a lot of money, because of some business that they created feel a lot of satisfaction from that and continue just growing and growing more money. Okay. If, if that actually works for them, if that's actually all they want out of life, well, wow, that's uh, mm. <laughs> lucky you. If that's all you care about in life is the, is digits. Um, mm -hmm. What a simple life. <laughs> what a sad and simple life. Uh, by the way, personally, Wait, I, I so told hold on. I, I, mm -hmm. I, 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 Sorry, I, I should kind of elaborate just a tiny bit more on this. Of course, I know friends in situations where you have no money at all. You have to do something just for the money. And so you could look at that and say, oh, you privileged asshole. 
<laughs> you know, I have to work for money. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you can take any situation, even when you're doing something just for the money, you can turn it into a learning situation. You know, even if you're just working in a warehouse, moving packages from left to right, you can turn it into a learning situation and learn the systems and learn how the warehouse works and do things so that you could use this learning to advance yourself in life instead of yeah. doing it just for the money. So I should mm. actually, I've never actually written about this. I should clarify it more if I do, uh, because what I'm saying is, what I'm not saying is don't do any work because it pays, but I'm saying that any situation you're in, you can make it about much more than just the money. Yeah. I think this comes down to deep happiness instead of like a short term happiness, right? Getting some money, your next paycheck or well, yeah. Um, yeah, can help to get some short term happiness, but that's not long term happiness. Uh, there has well to put. be something deeper like learning a skill or doing something meaningful or yeah, helping or serving people. Yeah. 